again for the teaching that he has given unto us. We glorify his holy name that he has shown us compassion to come before you once again. Before we went on break, we were dealing with the topic and the Hebrews, not Chinese, not Ishmaelite, not other nation, but can the Hebrews marry outside their tribe? And then we are about to show you with further proof why it is very essential for you to be very careful before you say, I do. I do. I do. Before you say, I do to any man or I, woman. I did. Before you say, oh, I love you, I will love you till I die, yet you were cheating on him. I, love you too. I will love you till I die, yet you were having an affair with another woman. Love you, baby. He will show you from the scriptures where he commanded us to be very careful. And then after that, I will show you why he has commanded us to be very, very careful. Mm. Listen to the book in the book of Ezra, the Old Testament, chapter 10. And at verse 7, if you are at home, listen. Ezra, chapter 10. The book of Ezra, chapter 10, if you are at home, listen. Ezra, chapter 10, verse 7. Listen. And they made proclamation. And they made proclamation throughout Judah and Jerusalem. Unto all the children of the captivity. That they should gather themselves together even unto Jerusalem. And that whosoever would not come within three days. And whosoever will not come within three days as it was commanded unto them according to the counsel. Of the princes and the elders. All his substance, his possession should be forfeited. And himself separated. From the congregation of those that have been carried away. Then all the men, not the women, all the men of Judah and Benjamin. Gathered themselves together. Unto Jerusalem within three days. And it was the ninth month. On the twentieth day of the month. And all the people sat in the street of the house of the Elohim. Trembling because of this matter. They were what? Afraid because of this matter. But you, you have no anxiety. All that you care about is how you feel. The lust that you have in your belly. Those beasts in your belly you call butterflies. They fly. How long do butterflies last? Not even one month they die. <laughs> but you, you are following these butterflies in your belly. What is happening to you? Calm down, sister. Calm down, sister. What is happening to you when you see that guy? Those are the ones you have to run from. But you, those are the ones you want to meet. Those are the ones you want to marry. What will happen when that feeling is gone? What will happen when that feeling, you saw him walking, you were, you were trembling. Now what will happen when that feeling, this is the reason why you keep on cheating and cheating and cheating. Because you are, your love is based on lust. What you feel at that moment. Hmm. But marriage is not about how you feel on that moment. That's right. It's about, it's, it's like worshipping Elohim. Hmm. That's why he commanded the man that love your wife hmm. as the Messiah also love his church. That's right. That's and let the woman submit unto their hmm. own husband. Hmm. He did not command the women to love their husband. Why? Because he knew what he was talking about. Hmm. But now you are talking about love and love, you woman. Mm. Submit and it will bring about love from that man. You try to change it, he will cheat on you. But nowadays, you have turned it around. He should submit and you should love. Listen to the book. From verse 10. Mm -hmm. And Ezra the priest stood up and said unto them, Ye have transgressed, you have sinned, you have committed iniquity, and have taken strange wives. By doing what? You have taken strange wives to increase the sins or the trespass of Israel. Now therefore make confession unto Yahuwah Elohim of your fathers and do his pleasure and, and separate yourself no, it's from all about it. This is the reason why Paul said. Mm. As for the things I'm about to say, it is not from Elohim, mm. but an advice. Advice. 
Because the commandment from Elohim said that you should do what? And separate yourself from the people of, of the land and from their and from their strange wives. And then all the congregation answered and said with a loud voice, As thou had said, so we must. So must we do. But the people are, are many. So the people that went into strange women were many. And it is and it is a time of much rain. And it is raining, it is the raining season. And we are not able to stand without. Neither is this a work of one day or two that we can just go into the house and be like baby. Bye bye. <laughs> For we are many that have transgressed. For we in this are thing. many who have transgressed in this thing. Let not our rulers of all the congregations stand. Let not our stand. leaders of all the congregations stand and let all of them which have which have taken strange wife in our cities come at an appointed time. And with them the elders of every every city and the judges thereof until the fierce wrath of our Elohim for this matter be turned from us. Only Jonathan, the son of Asahel, mm -hmm. and Jehaziah, the son of Tikva, were employed about this about this matter. And Meshulam and Shabitai, the Levite, helped them. And the children of the captivity did so. They did so. They obeyed the voice of the high priest Ezra and and Ezra the priest with certain chief of the fathers. After the house of their fathers and all of them by their names were, were separated, separated and sat down in the first day of the tenth month to examine the matter. And they made an end with all the men that had taken strange wives by the first day of the first month. And among the sons of the priests that were found that had taken strange wives, namely of the sons of Yeshua, the son of Josedek, and his brethren, Masa, Masai, and Eliezer, and mm -hmm. Jareb, and Gedalia, mm -hmm. and they gave their hands that they would put away their wives, and being guilty, they offered a ram of the flock for being their trespass. Guilty. <laughs> now, listen to the book of from the Apocrypha, first Ezra, chapter, chapter 7, from verse. From verse 7. Listen. So Ezra arose up mm -hmm. and said unto them, Listen. Ye have transgressed the law in marrying strange wives, mm -hmm. thereby to increase the sins of Israel. Because of this you have increased the sins of Israel. And now by confessing, now, now by confessing, give glory unto Yahuwah of your fathers. Listen. Verse 9. Mm -hmm. And do his will. And do his will. And separate yourself from the separate heathen. Separate yourself from the heathen. Of the land. And from the strange. Of, and from the strange woman. And then cried the whole multitude and said with a loud voice. Like as, as thou hast spoken. Him. So will we do. Mm -hmm. So we shall do. Now give me the book of Nehemiah 9. And at verse 2. If you are at home. The book of Nehemiah 9. And then at verse 2, in depth studies. Mm -hmm. For the Hebrews. That's right. Precept <laughs> upon precept. For the Hebrews. Make sure you write it down. You're listening to Hour of Restoration on High Radio, the voice of the next generation. The book of Nehemiah, if you have home, chapter 9 and at verse 2. And the seed of Israel separated. Nehemiah chapter 9 from verse 2. Listen. And the seed of Israel separated themselves from all strangers mm -hmm. and stood and confessed their sins and their iniquities of their fathers. And they stood up in their place and read the book of the law of Yahuwah their Elohim for part of the day. And, the, and another fourth part they confessed and, and worshipped worship Elohim. Then stood up the stairs of the Levites, Yeshua, and Bani, mm -hmm. and Katmia, mm -hmm. and Shabaniah, and Buri, cried with a loud voice. And they cried with a loud voice unto Yahuwah their Elohim. Unto Yahuwah Elohim. Now, before I show you why Elohim commanded this, give me the last book of the Old Testament. If you are at home, the last book of the Old Testament, chapter 2, and at verse 11 to 12. If you are at home, the last book, which is also known as Malachi chapter 2, and at verse 11 to 12, listen. Malachi chapter 2, verse 11. Mm -hmm. And Judah had dealt treacherously. Now Judah, the people of Judah, we who are in captivity, you call yourself Hebrew Israelites. You are from the tribe of Judah, consists of the Levites, mm -hmm. the people of Benjamin, mm -hmm. and the people of Judah. As for the ten tribes, according to the scriptures, they went into Asia. You have them in India. So when you read the book of Isaiah chapter 11, he said that I will gather some of them from Elam, mm -hmm. the land of India. 
black people from head to toe. Mm. They shall cross the river Euphrates when he begins to descend down to us. Now listen to the book. Malachi chapter 2 verse 11. To 12, listen. Judah had dealt treacherously. Judah has committed an abomination. And, and what an is abomination, abomination is committed in Israel and Jerusalem. Listen. For Judah had profaned the holiness Judah of Yah. Judah has profaned the holiness of Yah by doing what? Which he loved and had married the daughter. He has done what? He had married the daughter of a strange El. He has done what? He had married the daughter of a strange El. Read it again. I did not hear it. The book of Malachi chapter 2 verse 11. Judah. Judah had you dealt Hebrew, treacherously. You Hebrews, you only care about is my seed. It's whose seed? Who gave you that seed? Wow. Hmm? Who gave you that seed? Listen, Malachi, Malachi 2, 11. Mm -hmm. Judah had dealt treacherously. An abomination is committed in Israel. You know what Jerusalem. an abomination is? <laughs> Listen, it's the same as swine's flesh. An abhorrent. An abhorrent. Mm. Listen. For Judah had profaned the holiness of Elohim, mm. which he loved. Yes, which sir. he loved. And had married the daughter of a strange El. Yes, by sir. marrying a daughter of a strange El. That's yes, right. Elohim will cut off the man that Therefore, does this. Therefore, Elohim will do what? Elohim will cut off the man that does this. No, he will forgive because of the blood. He will cut off the man because that does this. Because of the blood this. of Jesus, we are not under this. He will cut off the man that does this. Yeah, Elohim <laughs> has declared that he will cut off a man from Judah who does this. The master and the scholar. The master and the scholar. So the student and the one who is learning the laws. Out of the tabernacle of Jacob. Out of the tabernacle, the temple of Jacob. And him that offers an offering unto and Elohim him of pay hosts. his tithes and offerings. This is the decree by the Elohim of the heavens. Hmm. I didn't write it. But Elohim wrote it. So why did he command us to be very, very careful? Good question. Why did he command us to be very, very careful? Give me the book of Isaiah. Because I was thinking about this. Because you guys claim that it's all about love. Mm. As long as you have love. How many women have you not loved? Mm. Mm. Hmm? Are you a virgin? How many women have you not loved? Oh, I've loved? How many men have you not loved and you are still talking about? It's all about love. Who told you so? Listen to the book. The book of Isaiah I was pondering about these things. I'm like, but why? And then my attention was drawn to this. Then I understood that it is advisable to remain in your tribe because of the punishment that he has prepared for the Gentiles who enslaved us. Now you want to marry the people who enslaved you. Hmm? Hmm. Was someone from North Korea marry an American? <laughs> but we, because of the blood, we forgive. But Yah has not forgiven. Listen. Isaiah chapter 13 from verse 12. And I will make a man more precious than fine See, gold. See, so when you are there, you are like, I don't want any man in my life. What a man can do, I can do better. We will see in the day of trouble. That's true. Go to Iraq and tell them this. Mm. Go to the Congos and declare this. Mm. Go to the cities and the nations of war and declare this. Mm. And see whether you don't need a man in your life. That's true. When there is war, then you will cry for men That's true. to save you. That's true. But because you are in Amsterdam, you do not care. That's true. Because you are living in Europe, you do not care. That's true. Because you can call 911, you do not care. Amen. Because police will come mm. and deliver you. Mm. Listen to the book. Yes, Isaiah chapter 13, verse 12. Listen. I will make a man more precious than in fine the gold. Days, I will make man more precious than fine gold. Than fine gold. Even a man. Even a man. Than the golden wedge of offer. the golden wedge of offer. Therefore I will shake yes, the heavens. And the earth shall remove out of her place. In the wrath of Yah of hosts. 
and in the day of his fierce anger, and it shall be as the chase, as the chase rope, and as the ship that no man taketh up. Now listen to this very carefully. Why it is essential? Then they shall, they shall, they shall every man turn to his own people. They shall go where? They shall turn to his own people. So the blood of Jesus will rapture them. They shall turn to his own people. Because he speak in tongues, it shall be well. They shall turn to his own people. And every man shall return back to his own people. And flee every The Ghanaians will run to Ghana. The people from Congo shall run to Congo. Mm. The people from France shall run to France. Where will you go in that latter day when you are joined to them? Yes, sir. Where do your children belong? When the punishment that he has decreed against these nations is coming, listen. And flee everyone into his own land. Every man will do what? Will flee to his own land. I have been telling you from Genesis to Revelation when we talked about rapture. Hmm. Was not an amount offered for these Christians on Facebook, brokotalizing and speaking in tongues, to call in and give us one verse mm. where it says that we shall be raptured into the heavens. All of them remained like women and could not speak. Where are they? Yet you still believe them. Why? Because you don't give a damn about Elohim. All that you care about is, I will be safe. Then shall every man run and flee into his own land. Into his own land. Where do you belong? You guy who came from Syria now. You who came from Ghana. Where do you belong here? This is a decree from the Almighty Himself. Listen. Everyone that is found. Now listen. Every man who is found shall be trust true. Shall be destroyed. And everyone which is joined unto them shall fall by the shall sword. Shall do what? Shall fall by the what sword. You do not know what to do. Because you are joined to them. Where are you running to? That day will come. Where will you go? Yes, this is a decree that Yah Elohim has declared and no one can stop this. Mm. Not the blood of any so-called man or a sheep or a woman. Listen. Verse 16. Listen to this. Their children also. The ones who have been joined to them, their children also. Their children shall be dashed to they pieces. They shall be dashed into pieces. Before their eyes. Before your own eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled. Their houses shall be spoiled. And their wives ravished. And your wives shall be raped. So you women who are at ease, continue to remain at ease. When the day of trouble is come, do you think that in, in Congo they didn't know about Jesus? Those women who were raped? Those people in Iraq who were raped by ISIS, you did not know that they knew about Jesus and they mentioned the name and there was no redemption for them in the day of trouble? You are in Europe so you don't care. Give me, prepare slaughter. Give me Isaiah 14 verse 20 and what? The same book, Isaiah... 14 and at verse 20 and 1. Isaiah chapter 14 from verse 20 and 1. Listen. Prepare slaughter for his children. Prepare slaughter for his children. For the iniquity of their fathers. For the fathers. iniquities of his fathers. That they do not rise. So that they do not rise. Nor possess the land. Nor possess the land. Nor fill the face of the world. Nor fill the face of this earth. With cities. With what? With cities. Elohim has declared this against the nation of Babylon. Elohim has declared this against the nations of Edom. No angel, no blood, no prayers can change this. Give me Psalms 137 and I've got from verse 1. If you are at home, the book of Psalms from chapter 137 and then from verse 1. Let's look at something. From verse 1, listen. Ch Psalms chapter 137, verse 1. By the rivers of Babylon. There we sat down. Mm -hmm. Yea, we wept. We were weeping and we are still weeping. When we remember We are so much in Satan saying that black lives matter, but it does not matter to them. They marched in the days of Martin Luther the king, he is dead. They marched in all of the days of the ancient prophets. They are dead. And you are still marching in 2016. Listen to the book. 
from verse 1 again mm -hmm. by the rivers of Babylon by the rivers of Europe in the hells of Europe in the hells of America there we sat down there we sat down and yeah. what happened yeah. we wept we were weeping when we remembered Zion we were marching we remembered Zion and let him come and take us home we had we our hearts on the abominable we hanged our harps. And then we hung our harps. Upon the willows in the midst thereof. And what happened? For they that carried us away. And the same people that put us into captivity. What are they saying? They required of us a song. Who are the musicians in Hollywood? Mm. Is it not the Hebrews? Yes, right. You are the entertainers of this world. Mm. You make people laugh. They look at you. They enjoy. Mm. That's all that they want from you. Sing unto us 50 cent in the club and we will dance. Sing unto us Beyonce and we will dance. Sing unto us Sizzla Kalonchi and we will dance. Mm. That's all that they need from you. Listen. From verse 4. Mm -hmm. How shall we sing Yahuwah's and song? And then the righteous said, how? But the unrighteous, they don't care because they want dollars. Mm. But the righteous said, how can we sing the songs of Zion? Of Zion in a strange land. Mm. If I forget thee, if I forget thee, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget her cunning. Listen. If I do not remember thee, if I do not remember thee, let my tongue cleave to the roof let of my, my mouth. Let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. Listen. If I prefer not Jerusalem, if I do not prefer Jerusalem above uh, Europe, above the hells of America. Remember. Now listen to the prophecy. Remember, O oh Elohim, O oh Elohim, the children of Edom. No, forget about them because of the blood. Remember the children of Edom. No, we are under the grace of forget. Remember the children of Edom. Remember the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem. In the day of Jerusalem, who said, who said, raise it. Mm -hmm. Raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. Go ahead, O daughter of Babylon, O daughter of Babylon, who ought to be destroyed, they shall be forgiven. Who ought to be destroyed? I will marry them, and then my seed will be forgiven because they are Hebrews. Who ought to be destroyed? Who ought to be destroyed? Happy shall he be. Listen to this. In the latter days, in the day of trouble, the scriptures that are happy shall they be that reward thee, that reward thee, as thou hast served as thou. Thou hast saved us. Happy shall he be. Happy shall they be the Moabites when they dash their children. That take it and dash it thy little ones against the stones. You have not seen anything. The prophecies from Elohim against the nation. If you know about these things, you will not gamble in life. You will not take things for granted. Give me Amos 9 and at verse 12. You will not go around singing songs about how you feel. Elohim doesn't care about how I feel. It's all about that said Yah Elohim. For the conclusion of the matter is for us to fear Him yeah. and, and obey all His commandments, not how we feel. Right. But you go to church, they will tell, no, forget about this. I will show you from the New Testament as well. <laughs> they will tell, no, we are under the blood. You will see what the Messiah Himself said. In Revelation and in the book of Matthew, then you will advise yourself. Listen, Amos 9 verse 12. Amos chapter 9 from, from verse 12. Listen. That they may possess the remnant of Edom. So that the Hebrews in the day of trouble, they will what? They will possess the, will remnant, possess of the Edom. remnant of Edom. And of all the heathen. And all of the Gentiles. Which are called by my name. Which? will say unto Jacob, we shall worship thy Elohim. Behold, the days come. Behold, the days are coming. Saith Elohim. Saith the Almighty. That the plowman shall overtake the reaper. You see, he has declared that his Hebrew people will possess the land. And he didn't say that we shall be equal. That is blasphemy. That's right. It has never been. That's right. I can never be a president That's in right. America. That's right. You have to be an American. Obama. <laughs> I'm a Ghanaian. Obama. <laughs> I hold Dutch passport, but I remain Ghanaian. That's right. And I will die as a Ghanaian. Ghanama. If Yah Elohim does not come. Mm. But you, because you hold passport, you don't care about your own. Because you have passport, you ladies, you do not even want to marry men who do not have European passport. <laughs> will that passport save you in the day of affliction? Come on now. Will that Dutch passport 
save you when you are ill. Mm. But you, because of your wickedness, you don't want men who do not, you call them illegal. illegal. Who, who gave them that term? Mm. It's not my standard. It's yeah. not my co-equal. Who is your co-equal? <laughs> Charlie. And now look at your life. You are 30 plus and no husband. <laughs> now you are crying. Now you put a weight on your head mm. and a cloth on your head. And you are praying that Elohim may hear you. That guy is still here, but you don't want him. Mm. Why? Because he does not carry Dutch passport. Document. But he has a Ghanaian passport. What else do you want? Who is illegal? He has a Congolese passport, yet you don't want it. <laughs> uh -huh. Give me the book of Isaiah 14, flow. 1 and 2. Flow, flow, flow. About the possession. That's why you have to be very careful because when we were talking about the rapture, when we were talking about the kingdom, we showed you that it is very vital for you to know who the Hebrews are. Amen. For he came for them mm. in the body of the Messiah mm -hmm. and he's coming for them Amen. during the day of affliction. That's right. He didn't say Christians or Muslims or mm. Ghanaians or Africans, mm. but Hebrews. And then he said that if you want to be saved, join yourself to them. Amen. The Messiah said it. Old Testament said it. Listen. Isaiah chapter 14 verse 1. Listen. For Elohim will have mercy on Jacob. For he will have mercy on Arabs. Will have mercy on Jacob. On Edom. He will have mercy on Jacob. On Christians. He will have mercy on Jacob. On people who are called by the name justice. Elohim will have mercy on Jacob. He will have mercy on Jacob. And will yet choose Israel. And will yet choose Israel. And set them in their own land. No, he will rapture us into heaven. He will set them in their own land. And they shall be Translated into heaven. He will set them in their own land. He will do what? He will set them in their he own land. He will set us in our own land. And the stranger shall be Listen joined to with this. them. And the stranger, the Gentile, shall be joined to them. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And the Gentile shall cleave unto the house of Jacob. And the people shall take them. And the Hebrews shall take them. And bring them to their place. No, we are all equal because of the blood. They shall take them. And bring them what to are they place? teaching in the churches nowadays? Where do they get these statements from? Listen. And the house of Israel shall possess them. They shall do what? They shall possess them. Did not Amos say the same thing? Precept upon precept. Line upon line. Listen. They shall possess them in the land of Elohim. In the land of Elohim. Now verse 20 to 22. Listen. Isaiah 14 verse 20. Thou shalt not be joined with them. We shall not be joined to them. In burial. Edom, Babylon, the a nations in burial. Listen. Because thou hast destroyed thy land. Because they have destroyed their land with intercontinental atomic missile. And slain called thy people. Satan. A missile known as Satan. Listen. And slain thy people. And they have destroyed their own people with chemical weapons. The seed of evil doers. The seed of evil doers. Shall never be renowned. They will not be known in the borders of Israel. Prepare slaughter for his children. Do what? Prepare slaughter for his children. No, it's not about the seed. Prepare slaughter for his children. Prepare slaughter for his children. For the iniquity of their fathers. For the iniquities of their fathers. That they do not rise. So that they do not rise. Nor possess the land. Nor possess the land. Nor fill the face of the world nor with cities. What are you talking about? This is why you have to be very careful. Because Elohim is going to judge us, not individually, but based on nations. Give me the book of Matthew 20 and 5. If you are at home, let's go to the book of Matthew 20 and 5. And then from verse 31 we'll do. Listen. Matthew chapter 25 from verse 30. This is from 1. the Messiah himself. Listen. When the Son of Man shall come. When he comes by. Let, let. Ah, so when these people are talking about rapture. Mm -hmm. Look at what he said. When he comes back, what shall he do? In his glory and his all glory. the holy angels with him. And all the holy angels. No, he was, he was coming with people. All the holy angels no, with he, him. He was coming with the raptured Christians. All the holy angels he with was him. Coming with people, all the holy angels, not with him. all the holy angels, not with the him. holy prophets, all the holy angels with him. Listen, 
Then shall he sit upon the Where throne is your of his rapture, glory. my friend? He came with who? All the holy angels with him. Not with the raptured Christians. All the holy angels with him. This is the Messiah himself speaking. Yet you Christian, you don't care. You don't care. Why? Because your pastor told you that you will be raptured. He died and do you know where he is? <laughs> Then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. He will sit upon the throne of his glory. He comes down to us people with his angels. And before him shall be gathered all nations. No, we shall stand there individually. Before him shall be gathered all nations. All nations, Ghanaians, Surinamers, the people of Europe, we shall be gathered before him and he shall separate them one from another he will do what he shall separate them one from another where would your children be you hebrew marry to them where would they stand why is he separating them because he's going to prepare a slaughter for them he shall separate nations from nations as a shepherd divided his and sheep the way from that a shepherd is separating sheep from goats and he shall set the sheep on his right and hand he will set who are the sheep the Israelites from Genesis to Revelation he never referred to any other nation as his sheep he said I am the good shepherd and Israel is my possession what are you talking about this is New Testament Let's go back to the Old Testament and then we shall go back into the New Testament. Give me the book of Zechariah. If you are at home, 14, 16 to 19. If you are at home, the book of Zechariah. Zechariah. 14. Chapter 14. 16. From verse 19. 16 to 19. 19 to the book. And it shall come to pass. And it shall come to pass. That everyone that is left of all the nations. Of the he brought the nations of which all came the against Gentiles and the nations who came against Jerusalem, against Jerusalem shall even go up. They shall go up from year to year, from one year to another, to worship the king, to worship the king, where who of hosts uh -huh. and to keep the feast of tabernacles. Listen. And it, shall be, and it shall be that whoso will not come up of all the families of the earth, all the family of the earth, all the nations, unto, Jer unto Jerusalem to worship the king, mm -hmm. even upon them shall be no rain. There shall be no rain. Listen. And if the family of Egypt go not and up, if the nation, if you were married in Egypt and your people belong in Egypt, if the family of Egypt do not come up and come not, mm -hmm. that have no they. That have no rain, mm -hmm. there shall be the plague. There will be no rain for them. Wherewith Yahuwah will smite the heathen. Wherewith Yahuwah will him will smite who? The heathen. So he said that when you are joined to them, what will happen to you? You shall be dashed into pieces. 21, verse 21, the same book. Verse 20 and 1. Mm -hmm. Yea, yea, every pot in Jerusalem, every and in pot Judah, in Jerusalem and Judah shall be holiness uh, unto Yahuwah. Now listen to this. And what will happen? And all they that sacrifice shall come and, and take all of them. they who sacrifice shall come and know this. And take of them mm -hmm. and see therein. Mm -hmm. And in that day, and in that day, there shall be no more Canaanites. Now I'm going to marry you unto Canaanite. There shall be no more Canaanites. There shall be no who? Canaanite in the house of Elohim. In all the house of Elohim, there shall be no Canaanites. Yah Elohim has declared this. Joel 3, <laughs> from 19 to 20 and 1. So you have to be very, very careful, you who only care about how you feel like. Hmm. There is a judgment prepared for these nations because of the things they did against his people. 3 verse 19. Mm -hmm. Egypt shall be a desolation. That Egypt in that day shall be a desolation. And Edom shall be a desolate wilderness. And Edom shall be what? A desolate wilderness. Listen. For the violence against the, the children of, of the Judah. Violent the children of Judah because they have shed innocent blood in because their land. they have shed innocent blood in their land but Judah shall dwell forever but who Judah shall dwell forever the Hebrew people shall do what shall dwell forever they shall dwell forever and Jerusalem from generation Jerusalem to generation. from generations to generation for I will cleanse their blood for I will cleanse their blood that I have not cleansed that I have not cleansed for Yahuwah dwelleth in Zion no, he lives in the heavens. For Yahuwah dwelleth in Zion. He dwelleth in Zion. 
Revelation 13, verse 9. New Testament. Revelation chapter 13. And at verse 9. From verse 9. Listen to the book. If any man hath an ear. Now if you have an ear, listen. Let him hear. Go ahead. He that leadeth into America, captivity. America, the Europeans who led people into captivity and slaved them for more than 400 years. Shall go into captivity. And Elohim said that they shall do what? Shall go into captivity. Who is speaking? Is it not the Messiah himself? So when you are trying to them, you are going into what? Captivity. You shall go into captivity. Listen. He that killeth with the sword. He who is going around dropping atomic weapons on nations. Must be killed with the that sword. That same nation with its people shall be destroyed with bombs. He is the patience and the faith of the, the saints. the patience and the faith of the ones who are called by his name. Mm. Revelation 21. From 24 to 26. This is New Testament. Revelation chapter 21 from verse 20 and 4. And the nations of them which are saved. And the nations of them so they can be saved. Listen to this very carefully. And the nations of them the which are saved. The Gentiles can be saved but what will be their reward? Shall walk in the light of it. They will walk in the light of it. And the kings of the earth. And the kings of the earth. Do bring their glory and honor into it. They will bring their it. glory and their honor into it. And the gates of it. And the gates of it. Shall not be shut all day shall by day. Shall not be shut all day. For, they, for there shall be no night there. There shall be no night there. Listen. And they shall bring the glory and honor of nations into it. They will bring the glory and the honor of all nations, the Gentiles, into it. And there shall in no wise enter into it anything that defileth, Listen. neither whatsoever worketh abomination or maketh a lie. Mm -hmm. But they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. Go ahead. Chapter 20 and 2. It's good. So when you are at home and you care about, I want to marry, I want to marry. Have you asked Elohim? Have you asked Elohim? Have you asked him whether he will have compassion upon your seed? Give me Obadiah. It has only one chapter. <laughs> Obadiah 1, verse 17 to about 20 and 1. It has only one chapter. I want to show you why it is very essential to know the reason why he told them, do not join yourself unto them. Because there is a punishment coming and there will be no discrimination. Mm -hmm. There is a punishment coming and it will not be like, oh, the children, their father is Hebrew. Listen. Obed Obadiah chapter 1 verse 17. Mm -hmm. But upon Mount Zion shall be delivered. And upon Mount Zion shall be delivered. And th then there shall be holiness. And there shall be holiness. And the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. And the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire. And the house of Joseph a flame. And the house of Joseph a flame. And the house of Esau for, st for stubble. And the house of Edom, the Edomite they shall be what? For stubble. And Listen. they shall kindle in them. And they shall be kindled in them. Listen. And devour them. And devour them. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. No, you can marry them and Elohim will forgive. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. He is not leaving behind any remain from the house of Esau. For Yahuwah had spoken it. He has done what? For Yahuwah had spoken it. Come again, come again. The last bit. Obadiah chapter 1 mm -hmm. from verse 18. Listen. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire. The house of Jacob, do the Israelites shall be a fire. And the house of Joseph a flame. And the tribes in the north shall be a flame. And the house of Esau for stubble. But as for Esau, they will be like the grass, the dried grass. And they shall kindle in them. And what do you think will happen when Joseph is flame and Esau is dried grass and devour and them. you Hebrew you are trying to them what will happen listen and devour them they will destroy them and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau no the blood will save them there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau there will be no remaining from the house of Esau for Yahuwah had spoken it for the almighty himself he has declared this 
And they of the south shall possess the mount of Esau. And they of the south, the people of Judah, shall possess the mountain of Esau. And they of the plain of the Philistines, mm -hmm. and they shall possess the fields of Ephraim. Listen. And the fields of Samaria and Benjamin shall possess Gilead. Mm -hmm. And the captivity of this host of the children of Israel shall possess that of the Canaanites. So, you see Elohim commanding his people to possess nations. In the day of judgment. And you are there. You want to join yourself unto them. Hmm? Did he not declare that who is he who cometh from Edo? Mm -hmm. He said that I went to the nations and there was. Give me that Isaiah 60 and 3. Mm -hmm. And then after that we will read the book of Toby. <laughs> to then we are done. To so that you may know that you have to be very very careful. You watch Hollywood movies and you all that you want is Hollywood people. Hollywood will be going down. Listen. Isaiah chapter 60 and 3. Listen. Who is this? That, who is this? That cometh from Edom. Who is coming from Edom. With thy garments with from thy Bosra. thy garments from Bosra is the same as Edom. This that is glorious in his apparel. And Elohim who is glorious in his apparel. Traveling family. in the greatness of his strength. He's traveling in the greatness of his strength. I that speak in righteousness. I Elohim who speak in righteousness. Mighty to save. I am mighty to save Israel. Wherefore. Now the prophet asked him. Wherefore. Are thou red in thine apparel? How come your apparel, your clothes are red? And thy garments like him that treaded in the white. Like someone who works at the bar. <laughs> or who produces wine? I have trodden the wine press alone. I have trodden the wine press alone. And of the people there was none with me. And who? And of the people. And of the people of Edom, when I passed through the borders of Edom, the borders of Babylon, there was not even one. There was none with who was righteous, who was with me. For I will tread them in my anger. Therefore I will destroy them in my anger. And trample them in my fury. And I will stamp on them in my fury. And their blood shall be sprinkled, upon, shall my be sprinkled upon my garments. And I will stain all my raiment. And I will stain all my raiment. This teaching is deep. I am even not going into details. Otherwise you will cry. <laughs> The judgment against the nations. But when you think about these things, Elohim is right. All the other nations, when they enslaved them, they paid them. And when it comes to us, forgive and forget. Forgive and forget. They killed 15 million Congolese, the Belgian people. But yet they have not paid them one penny. And you are sitting there praying in tongues, saying forgive and forget. Yeah, Elohim will not forgive and forget. In conclusion, give me the book of Tobit from the Apocrypha, Tobit 4, from verse 12, 13. The book of Tobit, listen to this. The book of Tobit. The book of Tobit, chapter 12. And verse 12. Chapter 4, verse 12. Listen. Beware of all whoredom. Be careful of all prostitution. My son. My son. This and is an advice to the Hebrew men who say that your seed will save them. And chiefly, and chiefly, take a wife of the seed of thy father. Do what? Take a wife of the seed of thy father. He's telling you, take a wife from the seed of your own fathers. Why? And take not a strange woman and to wife. And do not take a strange woman with a strange God to wife. Which is not of thy father's which is tribe. Which not of your father's tribe, Israel. For we are the children of the prophets. We are what? We are the children of we the prophets. The children of the prophets Noah, Noah, Abraham, Abraham, Isaac, Isaac, Jacob, Jacob. Remember, forget, remember, forget, remember, remember, my son, my son, that our fathers from the beginning. Do you know why he was saying, Remember, my son? Because daughters, you will be found. <laughs> but Hebrew men will go on hunting. 
So do what? Remember my son. Remember my son. That our fathers from the beginning. That our fathers from the beginning. Even they that are married wives. Even they who were allowed to marry wives. Of their own kindred. They married in their own kindred. And were blessed in their children. And because of that they were blessed to possess the land. And their seed shall inherit the land. Their who? Their seed shall inherit the land. Well, the strangers shall inherit the land. Their seed shall inherit their the land. Their seed of Israel shall inherit the land. Now therefore my now son. Now therefore my son. Love thy brethren. No forgive and forget. Love thy brethren. Have beef with them. Love thy brethren. Fight them because they are black. Love thy brethren. Don't feel attracted to them because they are black. Love thy, love thy brethren. Love thy brethren. And despise not in thy heart thy brethren. And despise not in your heart your brethren.